In this lesson, we'll go through three allegation problems involving specific gravity. In previous videos, we learned that specific gravity is a ratio that compares the weight of a substance to weight of equal volume of water. So keep that in mind as we go through these problems. Question one reads, what is the specific gravity of a mixture where the mixture contains 1,000 milliliters of syrup with a specific gravity of 1.300, 400 milliliters of glycerin with a specific gravity of 1.250, and 1,000 milliliters of an elixir with a specific gravity of 0 0.950. The first thing that I want to do is find out what the weight of equal volume of water is for these three substances. And that can be done by adding 1,000, 1,000, and 400 together. So the bottom part of this equation, which is the weight of equal volume of water, will be the sum of those three numbers. And that's 2,400 milliliters. Next, what we want to do is find the weight of the substance, which is the combination of all three. And what we can do to find that is for each of these substances, let me show you syrup, for instance. By knowing that its specific gravity is 1.300 and that it's 1,000 milliliters, I can place that value underneath here, 1,000 milliliters, and I can solve now for its weight. So I'll leave that as x, multiplying both sides of this equation by 1,000. Just think of cross multiplication here and multiplying this side by 1,000. We end up getting 1,300 and the weight, we can say it's in grams. We'll do the same thing for glycerin and the elixir. So I'll show you the calculation really quickly. For glycerin, its specific gravity is 1.250. It's equal to x over its volume of 400 milliliters. Multiplying both sides by 400, we can use our calculator, gives us 500. So x is equal to 500. And if you do the same thing for the elixir, you should end up getting a value of 950 grams. So we have this, that number, and that number, which we will add together. Okay, so the number on our screen plus 1,300 plus 950, and that is equal to 2,750, which will go into that. So to find the specific gravity of the entire mixture, I will take 2,750 grams and divide this by 2,400 milliliters, but instead of milliliters, I'll write down 2,400 grams because one milliliter is equal to one gram of water. Notice how the units will cancel out and dividing these out, 2,400 gives us a value of 1.1458. Now since all our specific gravities were three digits after the decimal place, to keep in mind significant figures, we should have 1.146. 1.146 is the specific gravity of these three combined. That is greater than one, so it's heavier than water, therefore expect it to sink beneath the water. In question number two, in what proportion must glycerin with a specific gravity of 1.25 and water be mixed to prepare a liquid with a specific gravity of 1.10? So using the same approach as the allegation alternate method, we have two mixtures. We want to end up with a mixture that has a specific gravity of 1.10. And the glycerin, the higher of the two, because it's being mixed with water and that has a specific gravity of one, I'll write it over here. And water has a specific gravity of 1.00. So notice how I position these numbers because that's very important. What I will do next is subtract 1.10 from 1.25. So I'll place an arrow where I subtract 1.25 minus 1.10, and that gives me 0 0.15. So we need 0 0.15 parts of water, because that's water and that's glycerin. And to find out how many parts of glycerin we need, I will take this number, subtract it with that number, and it will go up here. So 1.10 minus 1.00 is 0 0.1. And 
that suggests that we need 0.1 parts of glycerin and 0.15 parts of water. Now you can write this ratio down into a unit ratio by dividing both of these terms by the lowest of the two numbers, which is 0.10. Watch. So if I divide both by 0.10, I end up with 1 to 1 1.5. And I got that value by dividing these two out. So one part glycerin, 1.5 parts water will produce 1.10 as the specific gravity of the new mixture. In question number three, how many milliliters of each of two liquids with a specific gravity of 0 0.950 and 0 0.875 should be used to prepare 1,500 milliliters of a liquid having a specific gravity of 0 0.925. So that's the higher of the two, that being the lower. I'll write down 0 0.95 first, 0 0.875 underneath, and 0 0.925 in the middle, like this. Using the same method as before, subtract these, we get 0 0.025 and subtracting this with that, and it goes up here, we get 0 0.050. Okay, so these are the parts, 0 0.050 and 0 0.025. I'll take each of these two parts, sum them up, and uh, we get a sum of 0 0.075. I'll write down 0 0.050 over 0 0.075. That is for this liquid, I'll call it L1 and L2. Then I'll multiply this by 1,500 milliliters, which is what we want to prepare as the total. I'll take 0 0.050 divided by 0 0.075, and then I'll multiply this by 1,500, which is 1,000. We need 1,000 milliliters of liquid one, and for liquid two, it's what remains after the 1,000 is added, which is 500 milliliters. Now you can do it systematically the same way as we did here, where you take 0 0.025 over 0 0.075 times 1,500, and you will end up getting the same answer. And so there you have it. Now you have an idea as to how you can use the allegation method to solve problems involving specific gravity. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comment section below or use our website.